Hey there. Hi. I'm Liz. And I'm Lindsay. <laughs> so were you a little nervous for this call? Yeah, a little. I'm super nervous, so I won't lie. <laughs> okay. So I don't know much about you, but I'll tell you a little about me. I'm not exactly sure the type of arthritis you have, but I'm assuming you do have arthritis, right? Yeah. Okay, so I have systemic juvenile. Being a teenager can be stressful. You have a lot to think about, like school, friends, family, hobbies, and everything else. Now imagine being a teen with a chronic or long-term disease. You would also have to think about and manage medical appointments, medications, and therapies, and all when you're not feeling 100%. Learning to be independent and take care of yourself and your health can be complicated. Many young people who are living with a chronic disease have never met another teenager with the same condition. It is easy to feel like nobody around you gets it. So to help, a team of healthcare providers and researchers at the Hospital for Sick Children developed the iPeer-to-Peer -peer program. iPeer-to-Peer -peer uses online video calls to connect young people living with the same disease. Teens are connected with someone a little bit older who has gone through training to be a mentor. This is someone who gets it, someone who has been in the same situation and has learned how to cope. My name is Shayla and I live with chronic pain and I am a mentee. My name is Carly and I'm a mentor. My pain story started in 2010 when I was in a motor vehicle accident. So I have pain from like my neck all the way down to my feet. I have nerve problems in my feet. It was really difficult for my friends to understand because obviously they're not going through what I've been going through. One of the benefits of this program is that it was completely online. So there was no geographical limitation whatsoever. So if you were getting treatment at a hospital anywhere in Canada, or if you were living across the province, or even in different time zones, you could still connect with your mentee because it was all online. I'd Skype her on my bed, like, I'd be like this with my phone up here, like, hey, like, yeah, like, I'm not feeling well. But with the Skyping, it was really easy because it's like, I could still feel bad, but that would be the best time to talk to my mentor. This is a program that I never had the opportunity to experience while I was a patient here at Sick Kids. I wish I had had the opportunity to meet a mentor, someone older who successfully was managing their pain and could learn strategies from them. She offered me a way how to live with what I'm dealing with because I know one of my biggest things was being able to accept it and I ended up telling my mentor that and she said that the only way for anybody else to understand what we're going through is in order for us to understand it ourselves. Yes, I've had bad days and like yes, I will have bad days and continue to have bad days, but what you do on the good days will overpower the bad days all the time. This is such a promising program. I can reflect on even one of the mentees that I had that they mentioned that they are looking forward to actually being a mentor one day and hopefully having this experience available to them just because they enjoyed the conversation that we had and the relationship we built so much. I, I'd love to be a mentor in the iPeer to Peer program because I've seen how it's helped me. So I'd love to give back and like help someone else like never give up, keep going. Remember where you started off. Like it'll be good to be able to get that motivation back going and being able to help someone else. I actually don't have any other questions. No, it was really fun being your mentor. It's really fun being your mentee. So if so. you have any other questions or anything, you know where to find me. Good luck with everything.